Hi, we are the Frag Dolls, Ubisoft's professional girl gaming team. I'm Roulette. I'm Valkyrie. I'm Mischief. I'm Brooklyn. And we're here in the Ubisoft offices in San Francisco to try out Tom Clancy's Envor, which is really exciting for us. Tom Clancy, RTS, that's kind of the basic idea. World War Three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got to understand one thing about Envor. This is a strategy game designed from the ground up for console gamers. Envor will change the battlefield forever. Envor doesn't limit you to some distant bird's eye view. You're down in the trenches, up in the skies, and right in the face of your opponents. One of the most exciting features is that the game can be played almost entirely by voice command. All it takes is a simple tap of the right trigger and your entire army is at the mercy of your voice. The guys at UB call it strategy at the speed of thought. If you're worried about your neighbors pestering you for all that ruckus you're making, don't worry, because End War can also be played with a standard controller and a pair of hands. In End War, you act as the general and bark orders to your troops through your headset. You can take control of the US, Russian, or European forces, calling for airstrikes, futuristic electronic warfare, or even a WMD. Gallant Eagle is go. Units entering the battle space. We were given the opportunity to preview Envor at the Ubisoft Studios in San Francisco, where we put the voice command and our own gaming skills to the test. Valkyrie and Mischief picked the American soldiers, while Brooke and I went with the Russians. The battle you're about to see is unscripted and played entirely with voice command. All we had to do was hold down the right trigger and tell our troops what to do. Unit 2, secure Sierra. I don't know why you're yapping over there. It's not like it's going to help you. Yeah, actually, it is, because uh, this is voice command. <laughs> so. so, calling all units, move to Delta. So we're going to the castle here. Everyone's yeah, moving to Delta like they're supposed to. Unit 1, secure Foxtrot. I like how they just do what I say. Whoa, we're, we're attacking. Move it, move it. Wow. Ooh, rocket brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> here. Oh, looks like you're getting worked to me. No, I think you're getting worked. I, I see your little mid hiding by your tank. Oh, but your tank's oh, down. Yeah. Reinforce artillery. She's nervous. There, huh? Calling all units, attack box try. Let's go ahead. And the standoff. Freaking mm -hmm. awesome, I have to say. Especially when I won. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> My favorite part was the voice command stuff. Because you don't really have that integrated in other games, at least none of the ones that we play. Yeah. It felt really natural to have a headset on and be communicating through console voice communication. It's really quick. Mm -hmm. It's really fast. You can just say, unit two, move to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then they're going. Yep, yep. they're gone. I, I really like it. I really it's like it as a RTS, how it's down in, like you see the action. Like 3D. 3D perspective versus the 2D just looking on. I mean, you really know what your troops are doing. Well, my favorite part I know is going to be what we saw a little taste of today, and that's the persistent online battles that'll incur, taking over a whole country and beating them and then moving on to the next. The factions in this game are really, really interesting, I think, as well. I really enjoyed uh, being the Americans because they were fast and they were stealthy, but I was jealous because the Russians were all big and rough and Burly. tough. And I was like, I want a big tank. I also heard that there are developers from all of the previous Clancy titles. you got Rainbow Six, uh, Ghost Recon, and Splinter Cell developers that have all contributed something cool to this game. Like, we have characters <laughs> in the different forces from the previous game. What are you doing? <laughs> Scott Mitchell from Ghost Recon. Well, yeah. yeah. This is his helmet. And uh, he's the commander of the U.S. team. Oh! Uh, <laughs> where did you steal that from? 
Well, we certainly had fun with this sneak peek, and we hope that you enjoyed watching it too. We're the Frag Dolls, and if you want to find out anything else about N-War, go to nwargame.com. We can't wait to see how this game turns out. <laughs>